China is working on an ambitious plan to literally store the internet under the waves. China has launched what might be the world's first underwater data center. Hidden under the waves, cooled by the sea, and churning through the digital backbone of tomorrow, the concept is bold, but not entirely new. Why underwater? Well, underwater or submerged data centers have been theorized for years because the ocean offers natural cooling and stable environmental conditions. But execution has always been risky. China's version is not a toy project. It's designed for serious scale with energy efficient servers and marine grade infrastructure. The site is off the Shanghai coastline inside a coastal area where ocean temperatures are manageable. The salty water cools the servers, reducing or eliminating the need for energy-hungry air conditioning or massive HVAC systems. But an underwater data center must survive harsh conditions. Corrosion, pressure, humidity, marine life, all of these fight against delicate electronics. So components must be sealed, ruggedized and built for long-term immersion. China's engineers say that they have developed special enclosures and cooling systems that let servers run submerged without needing air ventilation. The design preserves performance while protecting hardware. The timing makes sense. Power is expensive. Land-based data centers are bottlenecked by cooling, land costs and regulatory hurdles. To scale further, new frontiers are needed. Think about it, your photos, your chat logs, your streaming data flowing in a box under the waves of Shanghai. It's immersive in more ways than one. So what could go wrong? Quite a lot if engineers are not precise. Powering the facility requires submarine cables, redundant lines, fail safes and any cable cut or malfunction could mean sudden downtime. This means maintenance becomes harder. To repair or upgrade, you must either raise the modules to the surface where cooling is lost or send down specialized diving systems. Marine conditions shift. Water salinity, waves, storms, biofouling. These can damage enclosures over time. The protective outer shell must be robust enough to last years under stress. So why now? Well, for countries with expensive real estate or limited grid infrastructure, underwater centers offer a compelling option. The challenge will be replicating the tech with reliability. Already cloud giants have tested submerged modules. Microsoft deployed an experimental underwater data center in Scotland years ago to test the idea. But these were short-term experiments, not full-scale production units. And why does this matter? Well, if the China model succeeds, this could open a new chapter in computing infrastructure where data flows in pipes beneath the ocean and our digital infrastructure literally lives under the waves. So next time your video buffers, imagine it traveled under the sea through a data center nestled in pressure and salt, humming away quietly, cooling itself and sending your bits faster than any land-based network might. We will keep tracking the story. Stay tuned to Mint.